Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. I'm so glad everybody's here right now. How's everybody doing? Here's an even better question. Who's everybody doing? <laughs> Gotta find your happy place these days. Personally, uh, I'm a little tired. Mm. A little tired this mm -hmm. Thursday from all the chants we've been giving him. Uh, <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> Hope that works out. Hope and chance. Uh, Trump's transition uh, continues its transitioning. Uh, I don't know a lot about what's going on. Uh, but I do know that his team has not yet called the Pentagon, possibly because he knows more than the generals. Or maybe, <laughs> maybe he's just never going to call them. Maybe he'll just launch a literal tweet war. <laughs> At Pentagon, please bomb Syria. Hashtag lying New York Times. Lying. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Or maybe the Pentagon's line is down. I don't know. Let me just, I got my phone right here. I always keep it with me. Let me just, uh, let me just give a little call right here. <laughs> Hello, you've reached the United States Pentagon. If you are calling about a country you'd like to invade, press one. For hours of operation and status of ongoing wars, press two. If you are President-elect Donald Trump, Press nothing. Seriously, do not press any button. Please. I love my wife and kids. Oh, that seems to be working. Give him a call. Just give him a call. Now, if you're one of those people out there who might be saying, I don't want to live in a world where Donald Trump is president, well, you might not have to because this was the hottest year on record. And Donald Trump wants to pull our country out of the Global Warming Treaty, which seeks to limit rising temperatures, desertification, extinctions of animals and plants, heat waves, floods, and rising sea levels. It sounds bad, but at least fans of Mad Max won't have to wait for a sequel. <laughs> of course. Trump doesn't even believe in the existence of global warming, having tweeted, the concept of global warming was created by and for the Chinese in order to make U.S. manufacturing non-competitive. <laughs> and calling global warming very expensive bull <laughs> Of course, very expensive bull <laughs> Also the motto for Trump University. <laughs> But now, Chinese officials have responded to Trump's accusation with a strongly worded statement. And I'm going to read this in the original uh, Mandarin. <laughs> Nuh-uh. <laughs> Adding... It's accurate. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Don't know what it means. But uh, they added that the Chinese will continue to fight climate change, quote, whatever the circumstances. Just hold on. Things have gotten so bad now that China is telling us to care about the environment. Have you seen Beijing? <laughs> no, you haven't, because it's hidden behind their air. Ah. And there's another voting shock this week. Another huge, but there's the election. That was one that was a little came as a surprise to some people, as the young lady noticed before the show when we were talking. Yesterday, Boston Red Sox pitcher Rick Porcello won the American League Cy Young Award over Tigers' Justin Verlander. There was some controversy over the vote count. And uh, Verlander's fiance, Kate Upton, was not happy, tweeting, Hey, at MLB, I thought I was the only person allowed to f Justin Verlander. <laughs> that is salty. Whoa. That is salty tweeting. Somebody should really wash her thumbs out. <laughs> Look, Kate, Katie, Kit Kat, I get that you're disappointed. But there is a traditional way to react when you or a loved one loses an award, okay? We've seen it millions of times on the Oscars and the Emmys. The camera is on you, and they announce the other person's name, and this is what you do. Speaking of awards,
based on a true story. Speaking of awards, uh, the uh, Oxford English Dictionary has named its Word of the Year for 2016, and it's Post Truth. And I am pre enraged. <laughs> First of all, Post Truth is not a Word of the Year, it's the two words of the year. Hyphens are for the weak. Second, Post Truth is clearly just a ripoff of my 2006 Word of the Year, Truthiness. Which. <laughs> Yeah. You hear that? You hear that? Right. Truthiness. That's right. Truthiness, which according to this article is defined as the quality of preferring concepts or facts one wishes to be true rather than concepts or facts known to be true. Now, for the record, that's not the definition of truthiness. Where is this article from? NBC? Lion NBC. <laughs> hey. You want to know what truthiness means? You know who to call. Stephen Colbert. Truthiness. Noun. The belief in what you feel to be true rather than what the facts will support. Now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, check out the definition of post-truth. Relating to or denoting circumstances in which objective facts are less influential in shaping public opinion than appeals to emotion and personal belief. Oh, I personally believe I'm getting ripped off. <laughs> but the experts have decided that it's the word of the year. So, post truth, I'm going to be gracious about it. 